Hey guys, Lewis here on LRC Power Sports. Uh, today we're going to do a brief review on the Tusk Trilobite uh, Big Horn Copy Tire. Uh, it's the P350, same as the Journey and um, as the Wanda Tire. Uh, what we got here today are a set of 26 10 by 12 and a 26 9 by 12 front. I got the six ply bias ply tires. Um, got them at about five pounds of pressure. I want to give you my uh, brief opinion on the quality and uh, fit and finish of this tire. I also have a comparison set of Maxxis uh, OEM Bruin wheels and tires to, to give a side by side comparison. First thing I noticed when we got these mounted is that uh, for, for a Chinese tire, a copy of a big horn, overall is not too bad. If you're picky about perfection, these are probably not the tire for you. For $340 for the four shipped to your door, saving about a 150 bucks on a set of actual Maxxis tires. Uh, but it, they're it's not too bad. I'm using them as a backup set on a Rhino, so um, for, for that I think they, they will be well. I'll come back and I'll give you another video of the ride and uh, the feel of them on the actual machine. Um, first thing uh, we're going to do is uh, give you a close up of the actual tire and uh, that way you can uh, check them out for yourself. If you're looking at buying these. There's not too many videos and there's not too much information on the net. So hopefully this will, will come as a reference to, to you guys. I did the same thing when I was looking to buy them. I looked on Google, I, I reviewed them, and I tried to find information. There's little out there. I got these mounted on a set of uh, factory Rhino wheels. Uh, the rear are a 12 by seven and a half and the front is a 12 by seven. Um, these are six ply rated, uh, max load 440 pounds of 7 psi for the 26, and they are 26 10 by 12s. The Tusk Trino Bite. Overall, it seems like a quality tire compared to a Maxxis. Uh, the the quality is 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 just not there as far as uh comparison <clears throat> Max's tires of course are you know made in Taiwan as opposed to made in China these are definitely a, a better made tire not to say that these are not nice that they're not well made but the uh, fit and finish you know some some small details they seem to be lacking that uh, that quality of what you'll find on an ITP or a Maxxis or, or a, a brand name tire. Next thing I noticed, when I measured these out, they do not measure uh, 26 inches. I'll go ahead and put a side-by-side -side comparison to the Maxxis. Here's the front Maxxis. And here's the front. They're both at five pounds of pressure, 26.9, 25.8. So you see already there is a, maybe these at, when they were mounted at 20 pounds of pressure, they were 26 inches, but when you put them side by side, these are 25 maxes, it's uh, they don't measure up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tape measure to them. Okay, flat on the ground. And there we go. Flat on the ground to the top. 26, obviously. Uh, big difference there. 24, 25 inches. Almost, almost spot on. Definitely not 26. There's a big difference there, see? 25 inches. 26 so <clears throat> they are not true 
26 inch tires. Uh, if you mount them on a seven inch rim, they're gonna be even shorter. So those are the fronts. Let me go ahead and put these uh, Maxxis 25 10 by 12s. And these are a 12 by seven and a half Yamaha Bruin wheel. And I'm gonna put them side by side to a 12 by seven and a half Rhino wheel. So we're looking at the same wheel size, both Yamaha and there we go. 25, 26 inch. Um, so you see there's uh, definitely, uh, they do run small. I'm not concerned about the height because I do gotta fit this Rhino in an enclosed trailer, so I am limited. So it's, 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 not, a, it's not a big deal to me. But you guys wanting to run the bigger tire, uh, if you want a true, you're gonna have to go one size up, if not two size. So I'm guessing the 27 inch is going to measure uh, a 26. If you want a 26, you're gonna have to get the 27 inch. Uh, but these are obviously, these are 25 inch height. So I'll come back and I'll give you my opinion on how they run overall for $340 shipped to my door uh, i'm not complaining but they're not max's big ones again it was uh, my backup set so i didn't want to spend 450 for the big horns so uh i kind of cheaped out but i'm not disappointed it's uh overall i think it was a good buy